Hey everybody, it's Nick. Welcome to another video. Don't forget, hit subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. Today, I am moving some of our sheep. I'm moving our three boys. As you can see, I've got the trailer on the back of the gator here. I've penned them up. I'm gonna get them loaded up into the trailer. I'm gonna bring them into one of the sheds uh, for a day or two before they go back out to one of the other fields. After that, I'm gonna take the lid off the hopper on our grain dryer. Uh, because it's been so wet lately what tends to happen is water gets in um, under the lid uh, I keep a bucket under there and periodically during a wet time I'll take it take the lid off tip the bucket out if there's any water caught in there save it going down into the bottom and getting wet grain so yeah I'll go move the sheep and then I'll go get the lid off the hopper and uh, have a little look and then right, here we get here we get here we get Right, I'll go get the trailer off and then I'll get the loader out so I can take the lid off the uh, grain dryer hopper. You good boy, Bear. Right, so as you can see, there's some water in this bucket here. So I'll tip this out. Right, that's a good couple of jobs done. Um, right now, it's it's lovely weather. Come on, March, keep, keep doing this. If it dries up like this, we'll soon be able to get on the land. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> Fingers crossed, it, it stays like this. Uh, the sun has been shining, there's been blue sky, not much rain, a little drizzle um, over the last day or so, but considering what we've had, not much. It does appear to be drying out in the field. So yeah, fingers crossed, let's get it, get it dry so we can crack on. The sun is shining, it's a beautiful day. Let's hope it stays like this. Um, I've come out to the field, I'm gonna round up some hurdles, bring them back to the yard, and then crack on with some other odd jobs. I'm just ticking things off my to-do list at the moment um, and praying that it stays like this. Come buddy, Bat. in you get bud. You are a good boy, aren't you? So one of the other things on my list of jobs is uh, a stock take on all our chemicals and fertilizer. Uh, we are part of the Red Tractor Farm Assurance Scheme, which means we've got to keep up to date with all the records of everything that goes on on the farm. Uh, chemical storage, fertilizer storage, crop storage. What I use to keep records is this thing. My phone. I put everything in my phone, whether it's uh, stock take for all of our stuff, uh, field records, spraying records, everything we do around the farm, uh, cleaning out the sheds, everything goes on my phone. And when we get our annual inspection, we go in the office, I load it up from the iCloud up onto the screen on the computer, and they're happy to see it like that. And it saves having to have files and files and files of records. There's a lot of legislation to uh, follow with farming these days. So if you can just keep it, you know, streamlined, um, and have it all in one place. It's absolutely fantastic. I can be out spraying a field and when I'm filling up between loads, I can make a record. Uh, the temperature, the wind speed, everything is on my phone, ready to go. So I don't have to worry about it later and sort of, you know, try and try and rem remember what I did. But yeah, that's just one of the many odd jobs I'm, I'm doing at the moment while we wait for this uh, ground to dry up. But yes, it's a really nice day today. So it looks like uh, it could be drying up soon and we can get on the land and crack on. Right, so I've just put some alfalfa down for the sheep, as you can see. So I'll take down the hurdles and they can uh, crack on, have a nibble. Absolutely brilliant this stuff. It's about 18-19% protein so it's perfect feed pre-lambing. 
I'm giving this to the Mad Lib so they can have as much as they want at a time. At least you know they're all having some. Whereas with the bagged feed, you don't know who's getting left out. You can do your best weighing it out, giving them the right amount, but you never know who's getting what with the bag stuff. So yeah, with this, you can just give them a bail, keep topping it up. They'll have as much as they want, as much as they need, and it's brilliant. Plus it smells lovely as well. I, if I was a sheep, I'd eat it. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, chicken. Dad's just fixing a, uh, putting a new bulb in one of the, one of the lights on the shed. You dropping your screws? Dropping the screws, I think I've got them all. It's done well though, 15 years, same bulb. Well, I say 15 years, at least, at least 10, isn't it? Yeah. I remember who put it up. Never had a bulb as far as I know. So hopefully this one's just another bulb as well. I got my hand over and it didn't come on, so I'm hoping so. Yeah, I bet it is. So annoyingly, it started to rain a little bit, but um, hasn't been much. I think the forecast is actually okay. They say it's going to be quite nice um, mid-March, so here's hoping. Um, everyone's in the same boat. I know we haven't got it as bad as a lot of other people, but we still can't get on, so it ain't good. So as I showed you guys in my yard tour video, we run a six meter Claydon drill on our eight series John Deere. It's quite a heavy combination when you think about it. Um, we haven't really got a lighter alternative unless we, <laughs> unless we got the old Bettinson drill out. But um, no, it's one of those things. The conditions have to be right. We have taken the rear wheel weights off the tractor. So that makes uh, quite a bit of difference. But there's no denying it's a heavy setup, so conditions have to be spot on. I'd rather get the drilling in late and right than sort of muddle it in early for the sake of it, because with spring weed, it's, it's got to go in right. Oh, rain, rain, stop. It was so nice earlier. Yeah, so I can see some uh, winter rape that's been drilled out here on someone else's farm. It's not doing very well. I don't think anybody's rape's doing very well. We haven't grown rape on our farm for, I don't know, I want to say five or six years now. I remember we did a bit back in 2016, a bit of spring rape, just sort of a 60 acre experiment, try and get, to try and get back into it, but it didn't yield very well. It's not really worth the, uh, worth the money. We've got a good little system going on at the moment with our wheat and barley, so I'd rather stick with what we're good at, what we know works. We have a bit of an issue with black grass around here, it's true, but the last couple of years we've had pretty good control, so I'm fairly happy with the way things are going at the moment. We normally sell our wheat sort of before harvest and Christmas, try and get it all gone by Christmas time. And this time round, prices weren't as good as they were the year before. But, you know, we're sort of, you know, we're sort of used to doing what we're doing. So I'd rather stick with what we know, what we're good at. But I do think a lot of it's going to change. But anyway, thanks for watching another one of my videos, guys. I'm sorry I'm rambling on. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. And click the little bell as well, because that notifies you when I put a new video up. So yeah, cheers for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.